The Supreme Court today ruled that abortion is completely a private matter to be decided by mother and doctor in the first three months of pregnancy. Overturned Roe v. Wade, the 1973 decision that established a constitutional right to an abortion in the U.S. The, the constitutional right the to an abortion is on a case has been called versus Jackson Women's the Health Organization. Officially overturned Roe v. Wade. I have to say, I share that feeling of I it's just hard to believe that this was actually discussed on the Senate floor and then and then blocked, blocked on the Senate floor by Republicans who no longer believe in the right to travel. Let's talk to women and girls in Afghanistan about what life is like under the Taliban, because some of the biggest changes in the last year target this half of the population. No! story tonight, the United States 11th Circuit Court of Appeals has officially legalized Georgia's heartbeat bill. The law makes abortions illegal in the state once a heartbeat is detected, which is usually around six weeks after conception. DJ. House voted mostly along party lines to guarantee our right to contraceptives. The vote was 228 to 195. And this was the House taking the first step to guarantee our right to use birth control, condoms, IUDs, and other forms of contraception. Extraordinary scenes in Iran where protesters have taken the to the streets for 10 consecutive women cutting their heads, burning crackers. hijabs in rage. Students' demonstrations. Arrested Massa in September for allegedly wearing a headscarf too loosely. And three days later, she was dead. The Indian Supreme Court has given a historic verdict. It doesn't matter if you are married or unmarried, if your family agrees with you or not, if your partner approves or not. The choice of abortion belongs to the woman and the woman alone. to stop women in the Afghan capital, Kabul, from protesting on the streets. They fired shots in the air as dozens of women protested against the restriction of women's rights. Okay, and Brent, Illinois officials say they're expecting people to come from every direction to seek abortion care. And that's something our Metro East clinics say they've actually been preparing for. It is the bipartisan finding of the subcommittee that female detainees in Georgia were subjected by a DHS contracted doctor to excessive, invasive, and often unnecessary gynecological surgeries and procedures with repeated failures to obtain informed medical consent. to South Asia and the Taliban government of Afghanistan has ordered an indefinite ban on university education for women. The order was signed by the Minister of Higher Education, further restricting women's access to formal schooling. Missouri House of Representatives yesterday over a new dress code that was spearheaded by Republican Ann Kelly. Democrat Rachel Prudy took the floor to explain why Kelly is not qualified to be the fashion police. Watch. We are fighting again for women's right to choose something and this time is whether she how she covers herself and the interpretation of someone who has no background in fashion because again it is an, and this isn't a shot. 
it's inappropriate to wear sequins before 5 o'clock. Major chains like CVS or Walgreens, as well as online pharmacies, will be allowed to offer the drug Mifepristone. Under the new rules, women can get a prescription from a certified health care provider and then receive the pills through the mail in states where it is permitted by law. CDC on the mental health of teenage girls. Sad, anxious, hopeless, just some of the feelings young people increasingly say they are dealing with. The new CDC data surveyed teens and saw a huge spike from where we were a decade ago. But more alarmingly, it found a big difference between teenage girls and boys. Asked to share information on medical conditions like seizures, allergies, other kinds of things to compete in the state. But female athletes are also asked to disclose the timing of their menstrual cycles as well as other info about their periods leading parents and doctors to raise the alarm when a school district recently brought this information gathering to an online company. About the language that says, quote, instruction in human sexuality may only occur in grades 6 through 12. Iranian authorities on Saturday said that they will be using what they call smart technology to identify unveiled women. Those found violating the dress code will first be issued a warning. Women will also be penalized and summoned to courts if the violations persist. Now this follows a recent incident in Mashhad where a man poured a tub of yogurt over the heads of two women who were unveiled. All three were arrested. For the first time, employers with more than 100 workers will be forced by law to ditch the secrecy, publishing the difference between what men and women earn. It will put the spotlight on the pay gap between men and women and the gap between a company's words and its actions. The Senate's failure to failure. Fail to advance a resolution. A measure in the Senate for an equal rights amendment to the Constitution failed this afternoon. It would have guaranteed gender equality nationwide. It fell nine votes short of the 60 needed to clear the Senate. A UN report finds close to three quarters of female journalists have been attacked online for simply doing their job, with many facing the threat of physical violence. Right now, press freedom is an illusion, and we are forced to test it with every story. What I do find different is that women journalists face more harassment online, more intimidation and more threats. We can't let this go any further. It's, it's gone too far already. This hour, eight more women are joining a lawsuit against the state of Texas over its abortion law. They claim they were denied the procedure even though they were facing medical emergencies which put their lives in jeopardy. Every day going on, it was putting my health and our healthy twin at risk. How close to dead do I have to be before I can fully access health care? I healthcare. want autonomy back as a woman and as a physician. One message that echoes forth from this conference, let it be that human rights are women's rights and women's rights are human rights once and for all.